On today's show, Bosch and NVIDIA develop an artificial intelligence supercomputer for autonomous driving, Spanish automaker Seat helps create a process to convert wastewater into biofuel, and John thinks Trump could be seriously thinking about raising import taxes on cars. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily, the show dedicated to enthusiasts of the automotive industry. Virtual reality is making something of a comeback, and now Honda is using the technology on the factory floor. One of its engineers created a virtual world for maintenance and equipment service techs to practice their welding techniques before they ever enter a welding booth. This allows them to hone their skills without using up materials. So not only is Honda improving technical training, but it's also cutting costs. One of the fastest ways to reduce carbon dioxide emissions is to reduce the amount of carbon in fuel, and using biofuels is one way to achieve that. That's why Spanish automaker Seat, which is owned by VW, teamed up with a company called Aqualia to develop a process to convert sewage water into sustainable biomethane. At a treatment plant, a decanting process separates the water from the waste which is then converted into gas following a fermentation treatment. Every day, a medium-sized plant can treat around 2.6 million gallons of water and generate 264,000 gallons of biomethane, enough for more than 150 vehicles to drive 62 miles per day. The renewable biofuel can be used in compressed natural gas vehicles, and the production and consumption of it can reduce CO2 emissions 80% compared to gasoline-powered cars. NVIDIA, one of the top companies that makes processors for autonomous driving, just entered into a couple of new partnerships to make that technology reality. It collaborated with Bosch to create an artificial intelligence supercomputer for level 4 autonomy, meaning no human intervention is needed. It's the first to incorporate NVIDIA's Xavier technology, which is able to process up to 30 trillion deep learning operations a second while only drawing 30 watts of power. NVIDIA also revealed it's working with truck maker Packar to develop an autonomous big truck. We'll be back with more right after this. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results and by Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems. Concept cars are nothing new, but a concept tire on the other hand is a bit unusual. But Goodyear is thinking about the future and created these interesting tires. The IntelliGrip Urban Tire is designed for autonomous driving and ride sharing. It features sensors that gather info about road and weather conditions, which is shared with the vehicle to optimize speed, braking, handling, and stability. The tire is tall and narrow to help reduce rolling resistance and extend range for electric cars. While this tire is for the not-too-distant future, the other concept seems like something from a sci-fi movie. Called the Eagle 360 Urban, it's sphere-shaped for our autonomous future. It features vehicle-to-infrastructure capabilities, and it also uses artificial intelligence to improve braking, handling, and efficiency. It's made from a bionic skin consisting of a super elastic polymer, and it's able to adapt its tread pattern to driving conditions with the help of actuators beneath the surface. Who knows when or if we'll see these in action, but it's interesting to see even tires could be drastically changed because of autonomy. Say, have you seen our new car review feature, 37 seconds in the Autoline Garage? If not, here's a taste of what you've missed. This is 37 Seconds in the Auto Line Garage. From beast to beastier, thanks to aluminum, 500 pounds lighter. Goodbye V8, but more horsepower, more torque, better fuel economy, and you've never heard a V6 sound this good. And better still, now it gets a 10 speed. A sumptuous interior makes everyday driving a dream. A sleeker body slices through the air. Can this really be a pickup truck? Torque on demand transfer case. Super long suspension travel. Big fat Fox shocks. It's Baja time, baby! Note to self, get a paper route, start a cookie sale. Scrape up 50 grand, buy a Raptor. 
This has been 37 seconds in the Auto Line Garage. And to see more of our 37 second reviews, just head on over to our YouTube channel to watch the rest. Coming up next, why John thinks President Trump is seriously considering raising the import tax on cars. Lear Connexus is the new application suite in vehicle connectivity designed to deliver over-the-air software updates and more from Lear Corporation's eSystems, leaders in power and data management. There's more car news and industry insight from the AutoLine Network every day. Take a moment to click that subscribe button. You'll never miss another AutoLine episode. President Trump promises he's going to make a big league announcement about the auto industry next week. He also told automakers he expects them to build a bunch of brand new assembly plants. But automakers will not invest in unnecessary capacity unless they're forced to. So would Trump raise the import tax on cars? That would definitely get some automakers to seriously consider building new assembly plants in the United States. Here are the possible implications for the car companies if he does that. For GM, goodbye to all those Korean and Chinese imports. For Ford, not much implication except for imports from Mexico. At FCA, Alfa Romeo would be crippled and Fiat would be dead. Toyota, Honda, Nissan, Hyundai, and Kia would have to start calling the construction crews. Subaru would probably look around and try to find out if it could buy that old Mitsubishi plant in Illinois. Mitsubishi would say, crikey, if we had known about this a year ago, we would have kept that plant. Time to double down on selling more cars in Thailand. For Mazda, they would say, we're toast. And all the Europeans would say, time to raise prices. The United States has a 2.5% import tax on cars and a 25% import tax on trucks. All Trump would have to do is increase the tax on cars to 25% to set this scenario in motion. Anyway, that's how I see it. As always, we welcome your comments. And that wraps up today's show. Thanks for watching, and we invite you right back here again on Monday. Wards is the industry leader for news, data, and analysis. That's why companies across the globe subscribe to our premium service, maybe even your own. Log in for subscriber access now. Check your company's intranet for details and rely on wardsauto.com to keep you informed.